become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today i'd like to start a new series on two times mr olympia and golden era legend larry scott pictured here performing the exercise he is best known for the scott or preacher curl Towards the later part of his life, Larry Scott became a master trainer, much like his own trainer and coach Vince Gironda, and he opened up his own personal training company called Larry Scott's Fitness and Nutrition. Larry's bodybuilding methods were well sought after because he had begun applying the latest scientific research uh, and findings to bodybuilding for maximizing muscle growth. Furthermore, during this time, he came out with over 40 publications on bodybuilding, which I recently acquired and will begin sharing with you. Today, we look at a true Larry Scott masterpiece, which is also scientifically backed on how to structure a perfect workout. Enjoy. Larry Scott began to research the factors that make a workout most effective for muscle growth, those being listed here the type of exercises that should be performed, the rep and set range, the rest that should be taken between sets, and the length of a workout. Also, how to maximize intensity. All of these factors were researched by Larry Scott. At the time, Larry Scott turned to the work of Dr. William Kramer of the National Strength Training Association in the United States to find out which exercises increase growth hormone and testosterone the most. He found his answer in a publication by Kramer from the Journal of Applied Physiology in 1999 titled Effects of Heavy Resistance Training on Hormonal Response Patterns in Younger versus Older Men. The results of this study show that compound exercises such as the squat led to the greatest increase in testosterone release at 10 reps per set, regardless of the age of the trainee. We can clearly see in the two graphs here that at a pre, whether it was pre-training or post-training measurements, both for serum total testosterone and serum free testosterone, there was an increase in um, in the testosterone levels of both 30 year old men and 62 year old men uh, right after the workout. So you can see immediately post workout, that's IP, five minutes after, 15 minutes after, and 30 minutes after. Overall, there was an increase in testosterone levels thanks to the use of compound exercises at a 10 rep maximum uh, of, of uh, for example, the squat that was used in this particular study. However, subsequent research by Chestnut and Doherty in an article written in 1999 called The Effects of 4 and 10 Rep Maximum Weight Training Protocols on Neuromuscular Adaptations in Untrained Men, published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, uh, this particular study showed that a rep range of 4 to 10 reps gave similar gains in muscle with the 4 rep range giving exceptional strength gains uh, and the 10 rep range giving moderate, moderate strength gains. Again, these, uh, these, the graphs that show these results are shown here, figures 2 and 5. We can also read the practical applications. Uh, basically, it states here, for, for relatively untrained males, a 10-week training regimen of either a 4 rep max or 10 rep max will produce both an increase in strength and some degree of muscular hypertrophy. These were the, this was a major, major finding from this particular study. Having understood that compound exercises and a rep range between 4 to 10 reps was optimal for increasing testosterone levels and maximizing muscular hypertrophy, Larry Scott went on to research the optimal rest between sets. And on researching this topic, he looked at the early work of Kramer. And it also showed that minimal rest time, that is between 30 to 90 seconds, was best for maximizing hypertrophy and growth hormone release, as was summarized in a 2008 review in the Strength and Conditioning Journal shown here, written by Williardson. Finally, Larry Scott also looked into optimizing the length of a workout and realized that his teacher, Vince Gironda, was right. 
Like Vince theorized back in the 60s and 70s, growth hormone peaked within half an hour of the onset of exercise and returned to normal levels at about an hour and 15 minutes into an, into an exercise program. As described in the publication, Effects of Cholinergic Drugs on Growth Hormone Release, uh, published in Life Sciences in 1978 by authors Bruni and Matis. Compiling all of these findings, Larry Scott came out with a report, a special report actually, and he devised the following blueprint for designing the optimal workout. The length of a workout should ideally be 40 minutes long, using compound exercises like the squat, bench press, etc. Using a 6 to 10 rep range with minimal rest, so anywhere between 30 to 90 seconds. Combining these factors would maximize the intensity of a workout, maximizing growth hormone and testosterone release, leading to maximum hypertrophy. In relation to the sets and poundages, Larry Scott recommended the following scheme, on that you perform firstly three sets with varying poundages to reflect the varying rep ranges that you can use. On the first set, one should use a heavy weight that allows for eight repetitions followed by a second set with a heavier poundage that allows only six repetitions. Finally, dropping the poundage on the last set for a set to failure with a goal of 10 repetitions. If you're interested in learning more about Larry Scott's special reports, please visit my website, www.goldenerabookum.com where you'll find them now for sale. Um, I have listed, for example, the first special report, it's now for sale, with the program in an Excel format added, where you can plug in your reps, sets, and poundages. I will be uploading the rest of the reports over the next few weeks. There are over 40 of them, and believe me, they are all gems. Um, so you can, all, you can find them all on my website in good time on www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video, this first video in a series of, of new videos on Larry Scott's, especially on his, on his special reports that he came out with later as a trainer. As I mentioned before, Larry Scott was a student of Vince Gironda, and just imagine the knowledge he had, all written in these reports. Uh, the combined knowledge of Vince Gironda's teachings, and on top of that, the, uh, the research that he did in the emerging field of exercise science and nutrition, all packaged into one incredible, incredible um, way of training that he was beginning to promote in his own uh, fitness studio. So all of this combined knowledge is what I'm now presenting in, these, in this new series of videos. Basically, a combination of Vince's techniques, almost modernized and backed up by research. It's pretty incredible. Uh, and I'm glad that Larry left this behind, this information in these reports that, are, that, that I'm now offering uh, to, to share with you. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Book Home. Leave me your comments. Thank you for watching, watching and, and please share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, please donate via PayPal if you wish to support my, uh, my research in bodybuilding, uh, in physical culture. Uh, please become a patron. My, my uh, Patreon account has lots of articles and photos. I often also uh, down, uh, sorry, upload books for you there um, for you to share and, and for you to enjoy the library. Uh, please um, get in touch via email if you wish to collaborate or um, if you wish to pass on your books and bodybuilding relics as well. And please visit my website where you're going to find many old school books and courses on old school bodybuilding. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Book Home. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.